All right, using the uh, magic of Hollywood and special effects, here we are. Uh, I have completed my three elements. I have the big B and the big C that I drew with absolute coordinates. And then around them, I have the two frames that I created using relative coordinates. And then around the whole thing, I've got the two frames I created using abs uh, polar coordinates. So what else are we going to do to this thing? Well, we need to add our name uh, so we know who you are, right? Over on the ribbon, you're going to go to the annotation panel, and you're going to click on text. And you'll see a little ABC glued to your cursor. All right, so here's how this works. Bring it down in this area, give a left click, and then drag. And now you're making a little box, and your name will appear in the box. All right, gives you a little area to type in. Set your caps lock on, because on technical drawings, there are no lowercase letters, all caps. All right, so we'll stick our name somewhere inside the space between the two frames. You can adjust it and move it till it's where you're happy with it. If you grab the grip, you can move it around. Okay, and then I like that. All right, ready for printing. So now, how are we going to print this thing? Well, we got a couple of options for printing. All right, we're going to go to the plot dialog box. And if we are printing on a computer, we're printing a hard copy, we would go here and pick the name of the computer. All right, so that's my printer at my house. If we're in the CAD lab, we would look for the name of the CAD lab printer. Uh, if we're trying to make a PDF, we would go down to DWG to PDF. I'm going to do that because I want to email this file to my instructor. So DWG to PDF, uh, paper size. If we are on our home printer, we're going to have a shorter list. You'd have a much shorter list because your home printer can only handle so much. So if you're home and you want to make a copy for yourself, or if you're in the CAD lab, uh, you're looking for letter size paper, which is 8.5 by 11. Now, if you're using the DWG to PDF, you're looking for ANSI A, which is also 8.5 by 11. What are you going to print? Well, we are going to print the extents of the drawing. And if you look up here, you see 8.5 by 11 paper, you see the things we're going to print, and you see how they're kind of pushed to the left. There's a big space on the right here. So step four is click on Center of the Plot. And that kind of centers things up. The scale of our plot, we're going to uncheck fit to paper because we want one inch in the drawing to equal one inch on the printout. So we're going to say one to one is our print scale. Up in the top here, we're going to set it from none to monochrome and say yes. And then we preview. And this is the most important step. You've got to preview. So, how's it look? Now, this isn't looking that great. You know, honestly, uh, I'm losing some of the drawing here. And I have a feeling this is because I'm sending it to the DWG to PDF. So I'll hit the X. Okay. And what do we have for other options here to make a PDF? Uh, AutoCAD PDF? Let's see that one. Microsoft Print to PDF. I'm going to just go through them and check them out. Print to PDF. Preview. Now that looks much better, right? And the idea is, in the end, we need a PDF. So as long as it makes a PDF file, I don't care if you use that one, or that one, or this one, or that one, or any of these, as long as the final product is a PDF. So, Microsoft Print to PDF seems to work pretty good. Okay, looks nice. We'll go back here and we'll say okay. Now, of course, making a PDF means you're making a file. You know, printing in something out on a printer, you're creating a file that opens up in Adobe Acrobat. So you're going to have to tell it where to put that PDF and what you're going to call it. So this was B12. B12 dash 2B dash your initials, right? And you hit save. 
Now AutoCAD will send your CAD drawing out as a PDF file. And if you look on your desktop or wherever you're saving your stuff, there it is. If I double click on it, it'll open up in Adobe Acrobat. All right. Rotate view. Looks pretty good. So if you're trying to create a PDF, these are our steps. If you're using your printer or the CAD Lab printer, same steps, just a different machine we're sending it to, right? All right, I think you are ready to go. So this is the end of our instruction related to coordinates. If you have further problems or questions, please get in touch with your instructor. And let's do our best to knock this assignment out.